video. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today y'all I'm going to be showing you how I created this super cute French beret from Table Place Mats. So if you want to see how I created this, keep on watching and of course don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye! All right, so getting started, uh, ignore these straw ones that you see. I actually just used the gray placemat because it was made out of a woven material or fabric. So I highly recommend using something that is woven, fabric-based, and not straw-based like these. And then I also have my tape measure, my marker, as well as my scissors for cutting. And then I have my straight pins for, of course, pinning. And then I also have my craft paper for which we're gonna be making a pattern. Now for this we don't really need a pattern, um, but it's good to have one if you want to make more down the long run. So yeah. Alright, so now we are going to go ahead and start by measuring the diameter of our first circle. And by the way, you only need two placemats to make this. And so I ended up taking an inch and a half on both sides off to make it, I believe, 12 inches in diameter. Um, here I made it at a smaller, like a smaller mark, but I ended up doing an inch and a half anyway, so you can just ignore this and do that. Or you, if you want to keep it at 15 and make it just a larger hat, it's totally up to you. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit smaller, which most berets are about 12 inches across. So here's our top piece. Now we're going to make our bottom piece. And to do that, we're gonna measure the circumference of our head. So I'm taking my tape measure and I'm slowing this down because I, I rushed. Um, and I got uh, 24 inches because I have a big head. But I, you know, pushed it down to 23.5 because, you know, it ain't that big. And so I divided it by two times pi, which is 6.28. And I got 3.74 slash all of these numbers. So about three inches and um, three fourths. So what i did to start i measured or rather traced my first circle onto my pattern paper and i'm going to cut this in half as you'll see later but not skipping ahead i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so we have our first our, our circle pattern and then i'm going to fold it in half and cut it in half so i'm folding it in half right here and then along the crease, we're gonna go ahead and just cut. So you'll have two half circles. Like that. Okay, so now with one of the half circles, you're going to just fold that in half. And this is going to be our bottom piece uh, pattern. So the, what we'll do is we'll mark the center where we folded. And then from here, remember that that measurement I took um, divided by pi, that is 3.74 or three and three fourths inches. So I'm gonna measure three and three fourths inches from that middle point that I made. And I'm only actually doing this to one side because I figured since I folded in half, I can just, you know, measure out three point or three and three fourths inches on one side and then fold that in half and then just cut it so I don't have to do it again to the other side because laziness and math so <laughs> all right so now i have my equivalent sides folded in half and just cutting that out and now this is our bottom um pattern piece and what i'm doing is i'm just marking it so that i know to put this onto the fold or like you see where i'm putting the arrows this is going to go onto the fold of the fabric and you'll see exactly what i mean in just a little bit and then i went ahead and measured or i'm sorry i went ahead and labeled my other pattern piece for the top and also labeled where it's gonna be placed onto the fold and labeled it top and then labeled the other piece bottom. So yeah, now we have our pattern pieces for more hats to be made in the future. And now, as you see, I put everything onto the fold. I have my second placemat folded in half and I put my bottom pattern onto it and pinned there and then just went ahead and cut around. I'm just taking out the pins and now I have my circle and my open circle and with the excess fabric from when we first cut out our, our first circle our top piece I just went ahead and just trimmed off a little bit this is gonna actually be the the I guess the trim of the or like the band headband I guess of the hat um, so I don't know what it's called, but yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So basically it's gonna be like that little headband piece. And, but we'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and attach our top and bottom pieces, right sides facing together. 
and wrong sides are facing out and we're gonna just pin it around the circumference. And then we're just gonna take that to the sewing machine and just do a, you can do a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch. I would actually recommend doing a zigzag stitch because this fabric tends to come apart really easily. So to really make sure it doesn't do that, I would definitely use a zigzag stitch and a tight one for that matter. And then I went ahead and just turned everything right sides out and just kind of fluffed out the edges. And yeah, some parts did come apart, so definitely make sure you are really tightly stitching everything together. So once we complete that, we're gonna go back to the headband piece I was telling you all about. So this is it, and I measured it actually to the circumference of my head um, off camera, so I apologize about that. But I added about an inch and a half of seam allowance so that I could sew it and then fold it down again, um, like an inch and a half down, and then just so we have a flat piece to work with. Now we are gonna go ahead and attach that right sides together um, to the brim of our hat. So make sure it is facing upwards and it's facing right sides together and you're gonna just pin along the edge. And then we're gonna take that to the sewing machine later on and sew. Also super important note, as you see I'm pinning this and I'm gonna sew it about half an inch down from the edge um, so this is because I'm going to fold over the band onto itself to create a sturdier band and give the hat some structure overall. So I pinned it and I'm sewing it here half an inch down from the edge and then right here I'm showing you that I folded over onto itself and then I top stitched it down so folding it over and then top stitching it down which is going to make it a whole lot sturdier and make this band you know really well fitted to your head. So highly recommend doing this. And uh, sorry y'all because this part is a little, it's a lot blurry, yeah. Um, but yeah, just you see me just stitching everything down. And then bada bing bada boom, you have your super cute haute couture French berets made from two very inexpensive placements. Yeah. So, so that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.